And Brooklyn, I love the chicken burrito sequence at the beginning. Is there a food that you would go to similar lengths to get when you have the munchies? Sour Patch Kids, this is not an endorsement, I promise. I'm just obsessed with anything sugary. So yeah, candy of any sorts, that's like the key to my heart right there. Found anything in the UK that you like? Oh goodness, you know what I love? It's not candy, but the hobnobs. We don't have those at home. And digestives, they're so simple, but so good. And we don't have them at home. I'm like eating just tubes and tubes of digestives. It's very dangerous. Very good to dunk in your tea as well. Mm, so <laughs> good. There have been movies based on books, other yes. movies, video games, um, even a theme park ride. But yes. how skeptical were you initially, maybe when you knew that this was gonna be based or inspired by a board game and what convinced you it was the right role to take? Well, I had to sort of work my butt off to get the role. So I was like, please let me be a part of your board game movie. Um, yeah, I, I, you know, the, the biggest drawing factor for me to this was the fact that Peter Berg was directing. I'm such a fan of his work and I had never worked with him before and in particular I love what he does with his female characters. You know, he just, he makes them strong and dynamic and tough and you don't mess with his girls, right? So I wanted to play a role like that and and that's really what drew me to this. And, and you know, the, the fact that it had such a, a strong historical tie-in and it had a lot of really real military tie-in, I knew that would bring some credibility to the name Battleship. Uh, and, and we all have a little memory of, of playing the game, so I don't think it's a bad thing to kind of bring that nostalgia back to the movie. Absolutely. We don't want to give too much away, but when it does reference the game, I think it's done very cleverly. kind of clever. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Thank you. Where do we find Sam in her life when we first meet her in the movie? <laughs> Sam, you find, she's the Admiral's daughter, and, and you don't see a lot of it, but she's kind of in a rebellious, careless stage, and she walks into this bar alone. What girl goes into a bar alone? Sam Shane does. And she orders a beer and a chicken burrito, and that's when she meets Hopper on his birthday, and, and they're kind of both these sort of lost wanderers, and, and he gets tased and arrested and wins her over. She finds that attractive, which I have to say, I would find that very attractive if a man were to be tased and arrested for me. It's like, what won't he do, right? So that's when you meet her and then you kind of see her grow into a woman and then have to kind of go through her emotional arc throughout the movie. That's some first date, isn't it, really? Exactly, <laughs> yeah. And your character, Sam, works as a physical therapist, doesn't she, specializing yes. in sort of rehab with uh, war veterans. Yes. What insight did you get into her job by, by playing the role? A, a lot of insight actually. We um, I did a lot of research. It was very important to Pete that all of us had an extensive knowledge on the military and especially the roles that we played within that. And I'm non-military but I work so closely with the military in the movie. And so I went to Tripler Army Hospital or Medical Center in Hawaii and Brooks Army Hospital in San Antonio, Texas. And I worked with these troops and I met them and I learned how to take off and put on prosthetic legs. I learned how to relocate dislocated shoulders and basically had a lot of dialogue with these guys and, and it definitely sort of added a lot of depth to what I was feeling with Sam because it made me want to represent these guys in a really strong light, which I think the movie, unexpectedly so, I think the movie does. Very much so, yeah, yeah. we get to see some older war vets as well, yes. don't we? Yeah. And of course, Greg Gadsden, who yes. is in the movie with you, that must have, um, been amazing to work with a real life war vet in his first yeah, movie role. Yeah. Absolutely. It was Greg Gatson's first movie. It was my second movie. So in a way we were kind of these newbies, really vulnerable with each other and we were forced to sort of depend on each other. So we got close very fast. We spent a lot of time rehearsing and and a lot of time, you know, going over lines together. He told me everything about his injury and, and his kind of progress from being injured to to now being, you know, a, a speaker for all these guys. And and he was very open with me and I was open with him and we still have a bond to this day because of it. And it was unbelievably humbling to work with him, unbelievably so. And of course you get to work with Liam Neeson as well who plays yes. your father in the film. What yes. can you tell us about working with that great actor? He's incredible, oh my goodness. And he was perfect to play the Admiral because he's just, he's an imposing character naturally. He's this big man and, and he's a legend in his own right. So he's obviously very intimidating as it is. Um, but but the thing I liked about Liam is that he took the time with all of us to make us feel comfortable. You know, it was my only my second movie and he knew I was nervous. So he's like, let's go get a drink, let's have a chat. And the fact that Liam Neeson was like, let's go get a drink. It just instantly you were like, oh, okay, he's really nice. And it just became a really fun process with him being my dad. It was easy transition, yeah. And just finally, what do you think audiences in the UK and Ireland are gonna really enjoy about Battleship? I think people are gonna be surprised by how funny it is. We have a lot of humor in the movie, which a, a lot of these action movies don't. They're all special effects and, 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 and guns and war, and we have that, don't get me wrong, but it's, it's very funny. And I think what women will be surprised by is how strong the girls are. I think for the first time in a very long time, women are represented in a really strong, good light. Like we do the girls justice, Rihanna and I, you know? And, and I think that's what people are gonna be really excited about. Brooklyn Decker, thanks very much. Thank Pleasure you. Pleasure talking to you. Thank you for your time. I appreciate Thank you. it. Thank you very much.